In this video, we're gonna take a look at a quick flow tip. So I previously shared a video where I showed you how you could automatically post your uploaded YouTube videos to both Twitter and LinkedIn, and then add information about that video into a tracking spreadsheet. Now the LinkedIn connector was in preview and it was working great until they deprecated that version of the connector and replaced it with a version two of the LinkedIn connector. And when they did that, my flow stopped working. So when I uploaded a video, my flow would be triggered and I would successfully post my tweet, but then my LinkedIn action would fail because I was using the original version of the connector. And that also caused my Excel action to fail as well, or to not be run rather. So there are ways to continue a flow if one of the actions fails, but a quick and easy way to do that if you have just a couple steps is to use parallel branching. So if none of these steps really relies on the other step, then you can use parallel branching to get the same effect. So to fix this, we're going to come up here and insert a step and we're gonna add a parallel branch. And then we're just gonna click and drag one of these actions over here and close that. And we'll add in another parallel branch and drag this other guy over here. And let's just scroll over and close that. And we can save our flow now. And I'm just gonna scroll over here. And so now we've got one trigger and three parallel branches. So if any one of these fails, it's not gonna affect the other two from running. They're gonna run in parallel. And that's a quick and easy way to make sure that your other actions run if one of them fails. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.